friends, MD Vegan. I make a fruit salad and I make always a different one. I make a new recipe every day and usually I make for myself one fruit salad and then later a green food, salad or whatever dish <laughs> with greens, <laughs> vegetables, fruit and vegetables. That's the two things. Yeah. And um, I mean, I always mix things also. But it is just, I mean, usually sweet to sweet and savory to savory. You can always mix, but you know, that's, that's a natural way to do it. As I'm used to. I mean, you can't be used to anything, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Now I make a fruit salad with grapes, pears, and dates. And blueberries. I had some blueberries yet. <clears throat> but the dates um, is the nice thing here. Yeah, I have done that. I put that in fruit salads often before, but recently not so much. I rather put it in the dressings for the fruit salad, the creams, and the cashew creams or so. But it cause it's a wonderful ingredient for a fruit salad. And, and dates, you know, people think of dates oftentimes. Oh, that is so sweet. Yeah? There's so much sugar in dates. Careful, yeah. But you know what? Actually, I looked it up. Tons of studies about it, also the big studies, you know, from the big people, from Dr. Greger and so. And they said, okay, let's let's have a look. And they said, they said great dates, usually would think, I have even more sugar, a higher sugar content than sodas. And soda are really super high in sugar. And we all know that it's not very healthy to drink sodas. You, you shouldn't do, drink sodas at all. They say, the scientists say, you know, whatever you like. But they say no, not healthy at all. Too much sugar. And here's even more sugar. In the dates, there's more sugar than in soda. So very, very high sugar content in the dates. So people thought, ah, oh, when these people in the desert, Israel and Arab countries, they, they plant the dates and the palms, palm trees, there where the great dates grow. They say, if you want to survive in the Sahara, in the desert, you only need eight dates a day. That's it. Eight dates a day? Is that high sugar? Can that be true? They put it to the test, and what they found was, over, they went over month and month with eight dates a day, in addition to what they ate. Eight dates a day, and you will believe, oh, sugar spikes, they will be unhealthy. The opposite was the case. Nothing happened, even, they weren't even healthier. Dates have amazing health benefits. You can snack on dates as much as you want, the outcome. Super healthy dates. I was so excited because dates are my favorite sweetener. I put it everywhere I can. Sometimes I take agave if I need a light color. Sometimes I put a white dressing or a white cream. And in a white cream, you cannot put the brown dates. Otherwise, the cream is brown, not white. So for a white cream, I sometimes take agave, for example, or other sweeteners uh, that are pretty much close to nature. Uh, but the dates, otherwise, I always take the dates. Yeah, date mousse, dates like that dates in a fruit salad as now, or I just blend it into a cream like I do that. Um, they, so I have the grapes, the dates, and um, the, the pears today, all seasonal fruit by the way, and I put it into a macadamia cream. I have a handful of macadamia, half a cup let's say, half a cup that's okay. It doesn't really matter, some more or less, really doesn't matter, it's what you like. They have a very strong flavor, they have a savory tone I would say, a little bit of, like a wood, the flavor, not the texture, it's a crunchy texture, but you chew them well, they get soft, very creamy, they are high in fat too, so they are wonderful nuts, the queen of nuts. And here I have some bananas, and the bananas are high in fiber, and they, when you blend them together with the macadamias and other nuts, it turns into a soft, smooth, silken cream. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. So I put the two large bananas and a handful or half a cup of macadamias into my blender and one lemon. Um, lemon is nice to make it um, a little bit sour, and the dressing a little bit more than usual, so one lemon, is it? Uh, to, to balance the dates in the, in the salad. Here, one lemon, without the peel, just goes in there. And the smallest amount of water because just to get the blender started. Otherwise, without the smallest amount of water here, the blades have probably have some issues to pull the bananas down in the moment, uh, and it takes uh, some moments for the blender to run free, 
and then it takes more time to blend it up. So a little bit of water solves the problem, it's very easy. Let's see, I hope it works <laughs> this time. Blender dance. I explain all the time, so <clears throat> if somebody doesn't know it yet, I blend the first time short to break down ingredients, mainly the dates, oh, no, maybe, maybe, mainly the macadamias here because they are firm, need a little bit more blending. Now, after the first blending, that will soak for a moment, so when the, once the macadamias are broken down, like this, into small pieces, and they soak very fast in the banana, the water, and the lemon. And when they are soaked, I blend a second time in a couple of minutes, and then it's really nice and creamy, makes a big difference. Taste it. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. But as I said, a little bit of coarse, yeah, grainy texture because of the breaking down of the macadamias takes more time. So now they soak for a moment. When I do a second blending, the flavor also get more whole, more full, and more unfolding everything. So, in the meantime, I have time to put my fruit together. I have here um, not a, not two cups, but almost two cups of grapes, seasonal grapes, of course, and a pear, a small pieces. I just cut the dirty parts out, and then I have the small pieces here, the pear. I can use. Um, um, the core, when the core is healthy, without a warm or mold or so, you can use the, the, the core. There's no problem with the core. Nuts and pears, uh, I mean apples and pears, uh, you can use the core. It's, it's super healthy. But uh, just it has to be um, clean, so no mold, no worms, and then otherwise you, I cut it out. Otherwise, then I, yeah, if, if there's something in there, I shouldn't be in there, I cut it out. The rest, always, otherwise, usually I take the core. It's good. <laughs> and um, then the dates here, yeah, just slices. I have the dates here, any kind of dates. They are a little bit firm, but it doesn't matter if fruits are with the cream. Yeah, you see these, these little rings? I cut the dates in pieces when they are pitted. Just a half cup, yeah. Have what you really like. They taste delicious. They have a wonderful molten fla malty flavor and um, a little bit of crunch there. But they, they are the pears too, they have a crunch, they are ripe. But this kind of pear is a little bit sweet and sour and crunchy, firm. It remains like that. Other pears turn very soft. These pears are green, you know. This kind of pear, you know, the color, a little bit green. You see the peel here? This is the pear that looks like the color of the pear, or the skin, yeah, the peel. And these kind of pears are always crunchy, even if they're super ripe. But that makes it nice. Some people have the, like more, the very soft, uh, Williams pear, for example, they are super delicious, a totally different flavor, very rich. They are usually for, for very nice dishes with chocolate or, or so. Yeah. But this kind of pear is more like um, a farmer's pear, I would say. My mother liked it. She's a country girl. <laughs> she was a country girl and she's, um, when he was little. And she loved these pears, these crunchy pears. And there, I tell you what, I have these pears at home and they stay, they keep for four for weeks. Yeah. They don't turn bad, but the other pears, the yellow ones, the delicious ones, they turn bad in, 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 in faster than an avocado sometimes, really. But these not, they're nice. And they are also nice. They have this sweet and sour flavor and the crunchiness. It's a very nice pear, yeah. Some people don't maybe don't recognize it because they have this crunchiness, but I like it because the sweet and sour flavor is really nice. And on top of it here, some blueberries. Yeah. Blueberries. I still had some. I don't think. I think they're out of season now. Sometimes to September or so, <laughs> they, the, the last blueberries come. But I still had some. Put anything you want. I, I keep some for the for decoration, maybe two or three or so. And now, ah, now my dressing has soaked. Now I will check before I do the second blending. Yeah, that looks nice. I don't think I need more water. Mm, 
will blend first and decide later. One more blender dance. Really, the macadamia is quite different from the cashew, just from the texture, flavor too. Macadamia is more savory, cashew more sweet, more buttery. But the texture is very firm, and you, the cashew would have been already creamy. For macadamia, I need more time to blend, really, absolutely. So let's see. If you have a, a regular, regular blender, just not this is a power blender, high speed blender, 35,000 rounds or so per minute. But if you have these, um, even 39,000, really huge, but the regular blenders, they are much slower. Um, they take more time yeah, to, to blend the macadamias, take more time or soak the macadamias. You can soak overnight and then take a regular blender and it is really a lot easier to have soaked uh, macadamias um, if you want to blend them creamy. I think it makes a big difference. If they are not really creamy, they are still grainy, granular, it's, it's, it's really something else, yeah. yeah, when they're creamy. Now I hope they are, let's see. Mm. Oh yeah. They remind me of the pear. The pears, they also have this kind of serious, seriousness in the flavor. That's what I called macadamia flavor first, the little seriousness, I would say, like wood. A really little wooden flavor, wooden tones there in the macadamias. That reminds me of some pears. They have also this kind of, of um, yeah, I don't know what it's called, not bitterness, it's different. It's kind of wood flavor maybe. Pears have a complex flavor. I blend one more time. I tell you, with the smallest amount of water, extra, not much, just a little bit. It might be a little, sometimes a small amount of water makes a lot of difference, a lot of a difference. Now, more, one more blend, make blender dance. Sometimes I can hear it when the blender is then usually the texture is perfect. But when the blender is woo woo woo, then the texture sometimes needs a little bit more. And it, it got there slowly, slowly. One more, one last check. Yeah. You can always blend a little bit lower, but nice. Nice. And it's still, it's just a lemon, bananas and the macadamias. There is no date in the dressing, so it is not a very sweet dressing. Macadamias make it really savory a little bit. A very more neutral flavor, more like the macadamias, you taste the macadamias. With a date, the flavor would considerably be different. It would be sweeter. But just the macadamias, the bananas and the lemon, Gives it a very neutral kind of flavor, like a, like a cream a little bit, like a simple cream. And I like it for the salad because I guess it, it relates. It relates a little bit to the to the idea of this um, grape, pear, and um, date. Um, I don't know. It's just a feeling. I want to see. I will taste it in a moment. Just toss it. Looks nice. I mean, yeah, fruit salad is always nice. You have the small pieces of fruit, and you have a nice, have a nice creamy dressing here. And if it's white, the dressing here like this, it looks really nice. I think yeah. can't go wrong with that. But I want to taste it now. I'm, I'm really curious. Usually, I, I have an idea what it tastes like, but I want to make sure if that really is the flavor I was, I was, I was looking for, with this neutral wood-like, yeah. Thing. Let's see. Mm. 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 Oh yeah. Mm. 
I put them in the mouth, and there is something, there is nothing there. Somehow, yeah, the neutral flavor of the macadamias, or the bananas, and the lemons. I'm referring to that here. There's almost nothing there. You expect the flavor, the macadamia, something. No, there's nothing. Nothingness. Like, you know, I exaggerate a little bit. And then you bite on a, da on a date, on a grape. Ah, oh, now, now the fruit comes forth. Yeah, and the dressing remains in the background. What a nice thing. This is a very nice fruit salad. Oh, wow, I'm surprised now. You know what? They are all different. That's how I began the video. The fruit salads I make are always different. This is a completely new one. And also the flavor experience. The, the, how, how the flavor builds, as I tried to decide, de de describe a minute before. You know, the nothingness and then pop! Yeah, the, the fruit are there. It's really fascinating, really. <laughs> yeah, you gotta try it. I mean, I don't know. I'm telling you crazy stories, but <laughs> I once read, when I, when I looked about an ingredient, looked it up on the internet, and I wanted to know what, how to describe this flavor. I don't know what it was. And I looked it up and, and I found a, a website where they talked about how people describe flavors. You know, there are wine connoisseurs, they know a lot about how to describe flavors, and the like. Yeah. And they said, you know, when you describe, when you describe a flavor, be courageous. Just do it. Take pictures, images, and like children would, and use the images to describe the feeling of the flavor. Because we don't have a language, a precise language like one-to-one -one for the flavors. We have flavors for white, red, yellow. There are, there, are number, there are words for that, and even numbers. For the flavors, we don't have that. We have sweet, sour, and so on, but, well, it doesn't come close to our experience yeah, when, we, when we have a complex experience. Yeah. For that, just use pictures. I, I try that. Sometimes sound a little crazy, but I think, I don't know, but they say, encourage you to do that. And that's what the big guys, they describe their wines, whatever. They do that too. They're beautiful. It really, it, it, it looks like the flavor. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I wouldn't know it <laughs> if I would see it and somebody told me it looks like it likes the flavor. <laughs> you have to taste it before, of course, before, because you before you understand. Well, that was a crazy video. Now, I, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for bearing with me. If you like, like my video, subscribe, and be vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day, and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter.